This is the second day of testing, and uh, we're going to use a slightly larger press. This is a six-inch press, and uh, I happen to have the screens off of it. They're hunting for a set of screens. Here we go through stages of compression. Our uh, first stage of compression, second stage, third stage, fourth stage, fifth stage of compression. And you can see the pitch gets tighter. We have these stationary resistor teeth, top and bottom. That'll give us a lot of shearing action to get out more gas. Go ahead and start feeding it in. We're running 100 PSI air on the discharge cone, which is open. That slams it shut. We're running 120 hertz, which we both clocked at 39 RPM. And you can see this is a six inch press. It's feeding faster than it did yesterday. And um, we have the same slot width, uh, 6,000 from then to 150 microns. Oh, we checked the specific gravity uh, of uh, you know, bulk density and it came out uh, today I got nine pounds, uh, 0 0.9 pounds per cubic foot. This is our bag of material. You see the structure. Just feeding it in. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead and dump the whole thing. And I backed the air pressure off to uh, 60 PSI because uh, the screen was getting hot. It is, I was afraid I'd melt the plastic. And we're just starting to get some cake to come out here. As soon as I get a decent flow, I'll start a, a time test for throughput capacity. But you can see this stuff is coming out uh, pulverized. And I'm starting my time test. Anyway, we're at 60 PSI, we're still at, uh... oh, and I've got a good flow. This is what the kick looks like. Got some here in my hand. And, boy, this stuff has got to be powdered. Okay, we're two minutes into the test, and we won't get too many more, more seconds. This is the last of our flow. So you can see what it's like. Kick coming out consistently. Okay, 4.2 minus the 2.7 is 1.5 pounds in 2 minutes 50 seconds. If we go this way, we maybe blind the uh, last section of screen, get a shorter press. Uh, I was running 120 hertz and I never tripped out. Again, indication of a low torque. Green got hot. It never got hot enough to melt the plastic. This is the 18th of November, 2020. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. And we're going to try and squeeze the gas out of this uh, material. It's a black styrofoam. And we're getting the bulk density. The tail weighs 22 pounds. That's about a bucket full. That's two, five gallons is two thirds of a cubic foot. And we're reading 27 or 2.7. So a bucket, uh, two thirds of a cubic foot weighs one half a pound. Here's the press we're going to use. One and a half horsepower motor, gearbox. We've got a VFD over here which uh, we have set to run at 120 hertz. Need a lot of speed. And I had put some material in already. And um, cake coming out. And so go ahead, just... I pick a real high speed, double the normal 120 hertz in order to um, uh, get some throughput capacity. Hopefully it won't trip out. We've got half the torque to double the hertz. 
but um, running uh, 15 psi one bar air pressure on this discharge cone which is pushing the white cone into place there's no liquid coming out we're just expelling gas we're getting a little bit of foam uh, foam particles coming through the screen the screen has six thousandths of an inch slot width and uh, that's what it looks like it seems to feed on its own despite this fact that we have an eight inch opening here at the top and we neck down to a four inch screw and we're collecting the sample we're now one minute into our time test this is what the cake looks like coming out yeah, we haven't tripped out and uh, doesn't look like it's jammed. Okay, there you can see the screw turning. You can see how fast that screw is going. Probably 50 RPM or more. Okay, you can feed it again. Four minutes into our test now, then. That's four minutes. And we're taking it out of this bag here. It hasn't paused. And, oh, this press has four stages of compression. The, the four resistor teeth. The, uh, as it passes each passes those teeth, those stationary go clear to the shaft of the screw. Uh, they, we get shearing action out of that. I just counted RPM. We're running at uh, 41 RPM. Um, not quite the 50 I thought, but the fact that we're running that fast uh, over speed, it shows this is a low torque application. Otherwise, we would have tripped out. Yeah, we're 23 minutes into our test. The motor is uh, not getting hot. The screen is not getting warm. Yeah, it's getting... Okay, I'm going to wind up this test at 30 minutes. Let me get... Uh, one more okay. Here. Trip on the hoses and cable. He's going to work the uh, air cylinder. not squeeze quite as tight with the cone open. Definitely not. Eight pounds minus 2.7 gives me 5.3 pounds in 30 minutes. Okay, we're getting a five gallon pail of the uh, material and put it on the scale. And we have 5.1 minus 2.2, that's 2.9 pounds of uh, press cake is two-thirds of a cubic foot. Here's a press uh, we're getting ready to ship. It uses dual air cylinders, a discharge cone, screen, the usual thing, just bigger. I'm going to hunt around in the shop for a vapor tight press. There's a larger screw we're working on. We're on the second shift now, so a uh, uh, skeleton crew on the second shift. But this is the screw department. This is the assembly department. 
And they're working on screw press over there. There's something to run here. This is a CP4. It has the same one we're using our test. It has the, the normal actuator. Frame of a press and assembly. Now we have a lot of presses in fabrication. Uh, these are just a uh, stage for... Uh, well, it took some doing. Here's some more presses. Boy, we got presses. One, two, three, four, five. Those are shred. Oh, here's a press. That's a shredder. Another shredder. Another press. More presses. And finally, over here, I have a vapor type press. And you can see how the covers are mounted. And. Uh, making it vapor tight. I don't see the exhaust port for inert gas. Okay, down here that would could be a port for putting in inert gas, but I don't see the outlet on this one. They have Pyrex windows, sampling, usually they're these are screens, and uh, uh, you can see what the, the bars look like on the inside. That is about a 15 thousandths of an inch slot width, and the one we were using was 6 thousandths of an inch. We also make them perforated.